Everyone, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Grip Review, where today we are taking a look at the Katoma Stealth one-person tent. This is the civilian version of a military tent that's been out on the market for a long time, at least 10 years. I will flash the innocent number on the screen for you all now. The biggest differences between the civilian version and the military version is color, and also the location where it was made. The military version was a camo tent, and it was made in the United States. This version is made in Korea. With so many people loving military gear, tactical gear, and military surplus as much as I do, I wanted to go ahead and make this episode, film this video, because right now, Katoma has an excellent deal going on. This tent costs $109 at the time of filming, down from roughly $230. I will say this, folks. I have not tested this tent out. This is not a review. This is just a first look. This might be a terrible tent. Please keep that in mind before running out and buying one of these tents. In this episode, I want to discuss with you all what this tent is, what it's capable of, show you some design features, and to show you all what you will get for $109. Since we've talked about price already, I should mention this. At the time of filming, this tent is selling for $500 on Amazon. It is not worth $500. Do not pay that. That is an absolute ripoff. The first thing that you need to know about this tent is that it features a very low profile. As you all can see here, this is very low to the ground. You are not going to sit up in this. There's plenty of room on the inside. It's plenty long for most people, but no, you're not going to sit up. The weight of this tent is almost five pounds. It is surprisingly heavy, but the materials are rather strong and burly. It is four pounds, 15 ounces on my scale. The center height is 31 inches high. It is 96 inches long, 36 inches wide. The floor material is a 150 denier polyester Oxford. The fly, which is reversible, and I will talk about that in just a minute, it is made from a 150 denier polyester taffeta. The floor and the fly feature a 3,000 millimeter hydrostatic rating. And the pack dimensions are 24 inches by eight inches by eight inches. I mentioned before that the fly is reversible and what you see here is the green side. It is a little bit darker than OD green but it is without a doubt green. The other side is brown. It's a very dark brown. I would not say it's coyote brown in color. I will go ahead and flip this so you all can see what the other side looks like. So everyone this is the brown side. The reverse process is very simple. It takes maybe three minutes to reverse and to put the fly on in general. The color is brown, not quite coyote. It's a little bit dark for that. And on both sides of the fly, you have the same features with the same tie off points and so on. Here on the side of the door, on both sides, you do have tie off points so you can roll the door up. You have one zipper on the door. And on both sides, it does feature a rain block. You have two-way zippers on the body of the tent. You have a mesh door, and you also have a fabric door. So in windy, cold conditions, you can block the cold air from getting inside. With this tent, it does feature a rather high and aggressive bathtub floor. So you do have quite a lip here to get over when getting inside of the tent. For some people, this might be a problem because again, it is rather high. I'd say it's about a foot off the ground. It's about a foot here. Once you're on the inside, you have two vents, one here down towards your feet, one above your head. You have multiple clips here so you can put in a gear caddy, you can string stuff up if that's what you wanna do. You have one mesh pocket and folks, that's it. When the tent is completely zipped up, it's pretty dark in here. This side you can see with the fabric and also the fly, how dark that is. On this side, this is just with the fabric shut and the fly open. With the sun out, temperatures around 65 degrees, it is incredibly warm in here. Something that you need to consider about this tent, limited mesh, very, very limited mesh. So airflow is gonna be limited in this tent. And that means that you may wanna use this primarily in colder conditions. Now, thankfully, you do have a large mesh door here. So if you angle the tent the right way, you get some good airflow. It may not be too bad in the summertime. It will be all about the setup as to how comfortable you will be. Now, talking about the Stealth One from a military standpoint, this tent has been used in Iraq and also in Afghanistan, from what information I've been able to find online. From what I understand, the contract for this tent has been discontinued. And that is why Katoma has the civilian version, which you see here, out on the market today. Now, speaking of the military version, they are getting very hard to find. I took a look on eBay and I did not see any of the camo versions at this time. That doesn't mean that they won't pop up here and there, but these tents, the military version, is getting harder and harder to find. As far as my initial look at this tent goes, that's pretty much it. I will have a before you buy, a test night. I will take this out on many overnight trips 
and then I will have my review put up for this tent, of this tent. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel, hit the notification bell, and you will learn more about this tent into the future. Now here are my initial thoughts of this tent. First off, size-wise, it's very low to the ground. This is a stealth tent. That makes sense. It's long. It's about eight feet long. It's pretty wide for most people. It's not very tall. You cannot sit up inside of this. What you can do is open up the door and then stick your head out like this and do what you have to and get back in. That does work. The vestibule is a good size. What you're looking at here is a double wall tent, so it will be warmer in cold conditions. There's limited mesh that has to be kept in mind. In summertime use, depending on where you're at, this could be a very hot tent. If there's a breeze, great. If there's not, it might be stifling. And there's no telling how the condensation is going to be until we test that out. The fly is reversible. I think that's awesome. It's also seam taped. You have the bathtub floor. It is very aggressive. And overall, the quality of this looks very good. In truth, I'm quite impressed on that front. There's no loose threads. The seams look great. The taping looks good. From my initial impressions, there's not much to complain about as far as quality goes. It does come with these stakes, which the company is known for. They are rather strange. As you push these in, you will feel them rotate, almost like a screw. I've always found these to be interesting. They are fairly lightweight. They do what stakes are meant to do. In rocky situations and in sand, you will need something different. Luckily, this is a freestanding tent. All that you really have to do is stake out the door or pull it away from the body. The weight of this tent is somewhat substantial. It really is. The materials are rather thick. The hydrostatic rating is rather high. The pack size is not bad. It comes in this storage bag right here but the tent itself takes up just a fraction of this. That is one thing that I like. The storage bag here is huge. It's way oversized so that when you break this down, say it's a cold morning, you have your gloves on, you're doing a poor job of really rolling everything up, you can still get it to fit. You don't have to fight with it. And that is awesome. There's nothing worse than <laughs> being cold, maybe having wet hands and you're trying to roll up a tent and you, you spend all the time doing it to find out that it's not tight enough to fit inside of a tiny storage bag. That sucks. So luckily, you're not going to have that issue with this tent. The setup process is very easy. It's not very complicated. It makes sense. And I will have a Before You Buy episode on that coming up soon. As far as my initial impressions go of the Stealth One Person Tent, that is it. Make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. Do you have any experiences with this tent? If so, please share those with everyone else. Again, we are a community here to help each other out. The Outdoor Gear Review is 100% agenda free. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I don't care if you buy this. I don't care if you ever buy anything that you see me use. I make videos to supply information to you. That's it. I don't make money off of affiliates. I don't do sponsorships, nothing like that. I provide information, that is all, that is all. If you want to support a channel that is agenda free, one of the very few channels on YouTube who's not trying to sell something, who doesn't lie to your face to get you to click on something, you could do so through Patreon and also here on YouTube, and I do appreciate it. My plan is to get this tent out very soon for a test night episode. There is a tropical storm, I think it might actually be a hurricane by now, coming in in a few days. This tent is going to be out in that storm, so get ready folks. A test night with this tent is coming up. We will put it to the test. Is it waterproof? And just how waterproof is it? I will answer those questions very soon. Everyone, again, sound off in the comments. Take care, strength and honor. I will see you all next time. Oh, by the way, when I found out about this deal at Katoma, I did a Patreon post. I also did a members only post here on YouTube and a bunch of viewers have purchased this as well. So we are all going to test this out and I'm excited to see what everyone's findings are. I wonder if they will match my own. We shall see.